Some of the impacts that we see from a storm of this strength just weakening and breaking off branches and trees that if in the location near a home can have consequences like that. So incredibly heartbreaking to hear that and, and we'll be tracking impacts from barrel really throughout the day because it sustained its strength for a very long time. When it made landfall just before four o'clock in the morning, it was a category one hurricane. Typically we see upon landfall weakening of the storm. Now because barrel was intensifying as it was making landfall, it actually retained its category strength, its criteria through the 10 o'clock advisory. That is a six hour window that it had that hurricane force and hurricane force wind gusts along with that. It also tracked through very populated areas through the heart of the city. I've been downtown all morning and I've been watching uh, the uh, havoc that barrels been wreaking throughout the day. And this is the first time that we've seen an eye in Harris County since Ike in 2008. So it's been 16 years that we've seen something like this, um, not just downtown, but throughout the entire area. A barrel impacted all of Southeast Texas. Right now, it is a tropical storm as of the 12 o'clock advisory. It's dropped down its wind speeds five miles an hour. So uh, the 11 o'clock had it at 70. Now it continues to lose some of its strength. 65 mile an hour winds within barrel and it's moving towards the north northeast at 13 miles an hour. So with the main energy of the system tracking north impacts should start to diminish, I think over the next two to three hours. If you can stay inside during that time frame, barrel will be long gone by the time we head into this late afternoon and certainly by the time we head into tomorrow. Satellite and radar right now showing us the loop of barrel as it made that landfall. So the eye passed through Montgomery County and it's the positioning of the storm that allowed for it to have the widespread impacts in Southeast Texas. The dirty side of the storm impacted us all. So it's that flow that came off the Gulf, spun up tornadoes. It brought us wind gusts over 90 miles an hour along the coastline. And right now we're still tracking those outer bands that continue to wrap around. But notice the main energy of the system, at least the heart of it, is passing through Montgomery County, headed up towards Walker. So the areas right now that have the heaviest rainfall, Walker to San Jacinto to Polk, pushing out of Liberty and again wrapping around and coming back into the I-10 corridor. So Katie is seeing some shower activity right now. It's the wraparound bands. The main energy of the system has passed by. I'll be tracking these storm reports all morning long. Like I mentioned, we've got reports of tornado, a possible tornado that touched down on the west side of Galveston. I know Devon's going to go check that out. 